Welcome to this Facebook Live session. Um, this is the first in a series of a monthly occurrence we are calling the Insurance Simplified Sessions, wherein we'll be discussing various products that are available in the market and also insurances specific to industries. Uh, the product under discussion today would be term life insurance. Uh, we're in conversation with Mr. Kapil Mehta. Hi, sir. Uh, he is the, he's on the board for the Insurance Broker Association of India and he's the co-founder of now insurance brokers. Thank Hi, you. Sir. sir, if you could begin by understanding what is a term plan and what are the basic benefits of a term insurance plan? A term plan is actually the most basic insurance and purest form of uh, insurance you can get. Uh, it's a pure protection plan, which means that if you uh, die, then there's a huge benefit which is paid to the beneficiary. But if you survive through the term of the plan, nothing is paid back. So it's really pure risk. Okay, right, sir. So, sir, how does one determine an ideal term plan, as in in terms of the sum insured, in terms of the tenure term? Um, there are a few things to consider when you buy a term insurance plan. I think the most important aspect is the sum assured. Okay. And uh, typically what you should do is look at your annual income and take about 10 to 15 times of that annual income as the sum assured. Because what that means is that if a person were to die today, uh, the insurance would provide an income for the next 10 years of a person's life. Apart from that, there is some changes we made around selection of the uh, insurer, uh, a little bit around the way the benefits are structured. But sum assured is really by far the most important aspect. Okay, sir. So is there a difference between buying a term insurance online and buying it offline? Not really. I, it's just a difference in channels and how you uh, reach it. But the products are essentially the same. Um, if uh, one is very comfortable uh, and if we're doing all the comparisons online, then that's fine. But by and large, most people need an advice. They want to talk to somebody right. and we prefer an offline discussion. Okay. So is the premium for term plans same for everyone or does it vary? It varies uh, and it, it depends upon a few things. Um, of course, it depends upon your age. The older you are, the more, the higher the premium. Okay. But it also depends on your health condition. So if you have, if you're overweight, you'll pay more. Okay. If you are, um, if you're suffering from some disease, you have high blood pressure or you have cholesterol, which are very common or diabetes, which are very common in India, then you'll pay a higher rate. Um, so every case is different. This, this thing, the amount of extra you can pay okay. over standard rates right. is something which is called loading okay. and can vary between uh, 50 to 75 percent of the initial premium. Uh, that's why actually selection of an insurer becomes important because some insurers are more comfortable with certain kinds of risks. For example, if you're a smoker, okay. some insurance company will give you better rates. Oh, right. um, yeah. That's all. Okay, sir. So um, can one claim the benefit in case of an accidental death? Yeah, the, the uh, term insurance plan is simple in the sense that uh, you, your family will be paid the benefit irrespective of the reason why you died. Okay. So if, uh, if you died because of an accident or because of an illness or disease or murder, whatever it may be, you will get the benefit. Right, right. Sir, yeah. so, uh, another question that people generally ask is, is the claim amount received, is it taxable? It's, uh, the claim amount is tax-free under section 1010D of the so uh, yeah so there's no tax deducted you get the money in, in total to use okay that's great uh, so let me put forth a scenario so what would happen if a person starts smoking after a few years of purchasing the policy is the should the person intimate the insurers and if he doesn't what happens in that case the uh, underwriting of a term plan is done when you buy it for the first time. Okay. So at that point in time, you must disclose everything accurately. Right. Uh, later on, if you start smoking or if your circumstances change or if you move to a different location, uh, that really doesn't need to be disclosed. Okay. Uh, okay. It's not required. Then. Right, right, sir. So um, how does the claim settlement work if a person has more than one policy? These are uh, fixed benefit plans, uh, which means that uh, both the policies will pay the money. So, uh, so, so hypothetically, if you have two term plans, one right. with a 50 lakh sum assured and mm -hmm. the other with a two crore sum assured, okay. and uh, you die, uh, two and a half crore will be paid to the family. Oh, correct. Okay, sir. So, um, what are some of the exclusion exclusions that term plan does not cover? Or better put, 
what are some of the cases under which uh, the claim could be denied there is only one exclusion allowed by law in term plans okay. and that is suicide in the first year uh, okay. otherwise after you are through with that one year there is no basis on which uh, your uh, your claim can be denied oh so oh, right 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 sir. of course uh, if if there has been uh, severe fraud so in what you uh, declared for example typically on medical conditions mm -hmm. so you are ailing in hospital but you managed to get a plan saying that you are fit okay. and you die <laughs> then the insurer may investigate and say look the, the data you gave is incorrect mm -hmm. and uh, not pay so if there's no fraud okay. the only exclusion is actually suicide in the first year oh right sir. thank you um so now i think we can take a couple of questions that have been coming in of course look forward um Mr. Kushal Bhatia, he asked, "Does the premium for a term plan change during the plan tenure?" Uh, Kushal, the the uh, premium does not change; it remains constant, uh, which is why it is always better to buy a term plan very early on because you get lower rates, and those rates get locked on, locked in for life. So another question, Mr. Sahil, he has asked, "Which is better, LIC or a private company to buy term insurance?" um i don't think public or private makes so much of a difference uh, i would say there are two things to look at when you buy a term plan first of course is you must uh, buy a low cost term plan okay. but you must buy it from an insurer who has a claim settlement ratio of 90% or more right now these claim settlement ratios uh, sahil you can get uh, either from the insurer's public disclosures which are on their website Uh, you could come to our Sikiona blog, and you'll find the uh, the rates, and we also publish it in some of the newspapers. So, um, so it, as long as a company has a settlement of over ninety percent, right. go for the cheapest one. Okay, great. Um, Miss Neva, she asks, my friend has been paying a premium since the past two years. What happens if she continues paying the premium now? Uh, so Neva. if your uh, friend uh, discontinues uh, paying the premium you have you have a 30 day period it's called the grace period in which you can pay the premium and the policy continues if you don't pay it in the first 30 if you don't pay your premium 30 days after the due date then uh, the policy goes into a lapse state and if you were to die you would not get uh, a benefit but even in a lapse state you can reinstate the policy by requesting the insurance company and they'll They typically take a declaration of good health from you okay. and start the policy as it is. Right. Best, the best thing is actually to to pay your premium 30 days in advance. Don't take chances on this because you know Murphy's law is that uh, things will go wrong um, if they can. Yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> so we we'll just take a couple of more questions. Yeah. Um, Mr. Mudit, he asks, in case death occurs outside of India, will the claim be paid? Mudit, the claim will be paid. Uh, that's because uh, an insurance. Uh, the policy that we have covers death in any circumstance in any location so you will actually get your money right um the last question um what are the different types of term plans the um the only way, term plan is actually a very simple product uh, the only things that uh, differ across term plans one is the benefit structure so sometimes the most common structure is if you die you get one lump sum of money okay. to the family but you can have um, plans which pay a little bit of money every year oh, you can have plans that uh, pay an increasing amount of money every year adjusted to inflation adjusted to inflation so you have that um, and there are also sometimes differences in premium payment method okay. so the most common is you pay every year year on year okay. but you can pay monthly you can pay quarterly you can pay one premium uh, forever and uh, otherwise the products are very similar right so we can maybe take one last question yeah Um, Hemant Hemant says what if someone smokes just one cigarette in a month can he avoid being considered a smoker while applying ah uh, you know so they so uh, the, uh, the the that's that's actually an excellent question because uh, <laughs> there is a threshold the insurers apply to decide whether a person is a smoker or not right uh, i think once no a cigarette a month would fall below that okay uh, below that threshold but generally it's smoking more than one cigarette a month is not frequent but if you're really smoking uh, even one cigarette a week or one cigarette every couple of days is better to declare it right um, and what the insurer does is when they when they test you uh, they do something called a cotinine test 
And in the cotinine test, they'll look at the nicotine level uh, in your bloodstream. And if it is above a certain amount, then they'll say you're a smoker. If it's not, they'll say you're a non-smoker. Okay. So, it, right. you know, so they will check on their own. So uh, it's better, better to disclose everything. Better to disclose that is one and uh, put that in writing. That's also fine. Say it's one cigarette a month and apply in the non-smoker category. Uh, and I think it should go through without a problem. Right, right, sir. So thank you so much for your time, sir. Thank you, Jason. Lovely speaking to you. Yes, thank you for all the questions. Yes. Uh, with this, we come to the end of this conversation. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section below, or you can write to us at corporate at the rate securenow.in. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.